This is the Honda CRV, and this is the Honda ZRV. Most of our two car comparisons see rival manufacturers battle it out, but this one's a little different. Honda's decision to bring two mid-size SUVs to the Australian market can seem a little confusing on the surface, but while there are many similarities here, there are enough differences that they'll likely appeal to different buyers depending on your priorities and your life stage. We're here to help you unpack which one might best suit your needs. Before we get into that, don't forget to like, subscribe to the Car Sales channel and let us know what you think in the comments. On test are the sixth generation Honda CRV and the first generation Honda ZRV, both in their respective top spec variants. The CRV range includes five and seven seat variants, but the top spec RS is a five seat only, while the ZRV is a five seater only across all trim levels. Strong competition in this midsize SUV segment includes the Toyota RAV4, Hyundai Tucson, Nissan X-Trail and the Kia Sportage, which was recently awarded the car sales best medium SUV for 2024. Current driveaway pricing see these two top spec variants separated by just $5,000. That also puts them bang in the middle of all those previously mentioned rivals, not least of which is the segment's top selling Toyota RAV4 hybrid. Honda's standard warranty and service provisions are common to both vehicles, along with impressively affordable five-year capped price servicing. Despite both being mid-size SUV, differences in exterior dimensions are defining factors. The CRV is slightly larger in every dimension. It's taller, wider, and longer, and has a better ground clearance too. The CRV rides on 19-inch alloys and the ZRV 18s. LED lights front and rear, entry puddle lights, and remote keyless entry is standard for both. It's fair to say that the CRV has a bolder, more aggressive stance, and the ZRV presents as a little more modern and playful even. Both are powered by Honda's eHEV hybrid powertrain, which uses a two liter Atkinson style four cylinder petrol engine paired to two electric motors, with the CRV extracting a little more power, but the ZRV being a little more frugal. Both use a continuously variable transmission to send power to the front wheels, although the CRV does come in all-wheel drive, but only for non-hybrid variants. The CRV's interior leads with practicality and functionality, where it's not only easy to settle in and feel comfy, but you can easily find everything. Honda's design aesthetics lag behind the likes of Kia and Hyundai, but the fit and finish in the CRV is top notch. Heated electric adjust seats and good ergonomics are a win. The CRV also has a sunroof. Storage in the CRV is stock standard, room for oddments, two cup holders, and a lidded armrest. It's a familiar design. Inside the ZRV, it presents a near identical or very similar dash display to the CRV. And again, the focus is on comfort, practicality, and functionality. Although the mix of materials used in here doesn't feel quite as top notch as those in the CRV. Again, very comfy heated electric adjust seats, and in here you also get a heated steering wheel. Despite a slightly smaller cabin in the ZRV, Honda has carved out additional storage solutions that are clever and practical. This center console spot is becoming a popular design element in several new vehicles. There's not a lot to separate the two vehicles. The ZRV impresses with its innovative storage, but the CRV feels like a better mix of quality materials and overall fit and finish. Both Hondas present a very user-friendly infotainment interface, along with quick and easy access to dual-zone climate controls. The most coveted tech inclusions are accounted for. Multifunction steering wheels provide another way to engage with the tech on board. Digital instrument clusters are common to both, with clear and customizable information displays. The same goes for front and rear parking sensors and good camera quality, but the ZRV has a much better surround view camera. Both vehicles feature Honda's extensive safety equipment, but are yet to be crash tested. There is plenty of room in the second row of the CRV. It is fit for three adult occupants. 
taller people might struggle a little bit with headroom here because it does have this raised sort of stadium seating. But the flip side of that is it gives you really good outward vision. Now, legroom, there's plenty as you can see, and I'm gonna measure it. I've got 30 centimeters for reference sake. We'll check in the ZRV as well. There are two seat back pockets, dual air vents, two USB-C points, indoor drink holders, a fold down armrest with cup holders and two isofix positions and three top tether anchors. Despite being dimensionally smaller, the ZRV's second row is a very generous space. You will fit three occupants on this seat. They will be a little bit closer than in the CRV, but it's got a lower bench here. So headroom is every bit as good as in the CRV and the all important knee room I measured, it's only three centimeters difference. So despite being a smaller vehicle, they've carved a very good second row. The same amenity as the CRV applies here too, but the ZRV adds heated outboard seats, which is a really nice touch. The CRV does win for overall boot capacity and my trusty tape measure does reveal that that extra load height will be really handy when you're lugging larger items. But the ZRV is just as good where overall amenity is concerned. They've both got 60-40 split fold seats, 12 volt outlets, bag hooks and anchor points. They're both capable of lugging the family load. Remember however, these hybrid powertrains won't tow as much as their petrol powered siblings. It's time to take these mid-sized siblings for a drive. Comfort and ergonomics behind the wheel of the CRV are excellent. And this hybrid powertrain, it's fast and immediate. It actually makes light work of the CRV's curb weight. Now, there's no getting away from the sheer size of the CRV. It's quite a sizable footprint, but it feels lighter and probably more agile than it does read on paper. It stops, starts, turns, great level of feedback through this steering wheel. It's capable and it's predictable. It's a very similar story behind the wheel of the ZRV and that hybrid powertrain remains a highlight. You certainly can feel the smaller proportions and that lighter curb weight behind the wheel and it gives the ZRV a slightly more nimble feel, almost a little bit playful with the lighter steering as well. Having said that, on the flip side, it doesn't have that same planted dynamic and handling feel as we had in the CRV. There are pros and cons to each, as you can see. Our as-tested fuel consumption figures come out pretty close to the manufacturer claims. By a narrow margin, we prefer the CRV's drive experience, but there's really not much in it. City-based drivers may choose the smaller proportions of the ZRV over the ride and handling of the CRV. I can't help but feel Honda has returned to form, albeit SUV form. Honda nails the family-friendly brief with a mid-size SUV to suit most modern family needs. There was never going to be a winner as such with this comparison, just greater clarity on the key differences. The CRV has size on its side, the ZRV has smaller proportions on its side. The ZRV wins for cabin functionality and amenity, while the CRV can lug more, more people and more gear more comfortably. But unless you actually need that extra space, the ZRV ticks all of the other boxes. It's cheaper and more economical too. More money in your pocket will often seal the deal. Thanks for watching. We hope that was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the Car Sales channel and let us know what you think. And also let us know if there's a comparison you'd like us to do.